Ava, and welcome to the Patty Morning Show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Patty Panthers. You may now be seated. Here's today's encore schedule. Have a happy Friday, and now let's go to Mr. Luciani and see what he has for us today. What's up, everybody? Friday. It is Friday. That means it's the end of the week. That also means it's the Patty Sports Show. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Teddy Ball Game. Teddy How are Ball you, game. sir? I'm doing great, man. Um, how about you? You doing good this week? I'm doing all right, Teddy Ball Game. We're all hanging in there, doing our best, supporting each other, getting through it, right? Yeah, man. Hey, it seems like we were just saying, you know, a little bit ago, we're already in February. We're already in March. We are already in May. We don't got much. We don't have that much time, boys and girls. So let's continue to work hard this week. Um, and this week coming up, make sure that we continue to work hard, get ready for that next grade level that we're moving into next year. That's right. Maximize the time you're in here. Take advantage of every opportunity that you're in here and, and do your best. Teddy ball game. What's happening in the world of sports, my dude? Well, in, in the NBA and basketball news, the Washington Wizards defeated the Indiana Pacers in another high scoring affair. Not sure anybody's playing defense for uh, when they're playing the Wizards. 154 to 141. This day, this game didn't even go into overtime. Russell Westbrook achieved another triple-double, kind of a weird one, 21 rebounds, 24 assists, and 14 points. The wow. Wizards continue to fight for a playoff spot with only seven games remaining. That just shows you how little defense there is when he can, he can get 21 boards and 21 assists, which means no one's even guarding him. That's, that's crazy. But good on that, man. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. Um, in NHL hockey news, the Washington Capitals beat the New York Rangers six to three. Capitals got goals again from six different players. Dowd, Hathaway, Wilson, Backstrom, Sherry, and Sprong. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Capitals have fallen two points behind the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Eastern Division and now are in second place with only four games in the season remaining. Yeah, I also saw in that last game that one of their uh, one of their their players took his aggressiveness a little too far, lost control. Boys, girls, that's really easy to do, losing control, and that's why we have a patty essential that says you must maintain control at all times because it's hard even for adults, and that's why we try to get you to practice now. So hopefully it won't impact them in the long run or in the playoffs, but we'll see. Yeah, very important in sports and in life to have that self control. Um, in MLB baseball news, the Washington Nationals lost to the Atlanta Braves 6-1. to one. Um, Hopefully I don't mess this name up too bad, but Braves pitcher Huascar Yanoa hit a grand slam, and he pitched seven innings, giving up zero earned runs to lead the Braves to victory. So how about that, a pitcher hitting a grand slam? Wow. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. And I, uh, I, I'm the, proud of you for, uh, you know. Taking the challenge on and saying his name, too. The Nationals are currently in second place in the National League East Division, just behind our Philadelphia Phillies. Kind of crazy to think that the Phillies are in first place. They've been so wishy-washy this year, but they're at the top for right now. I'll tell you what, it seems like we're either playing the, the Mets or the Braves every other series, too, and, and then, then they're playing the Nationals. So we're all beaten up on each other, which is why nobody's really rising to the top. So once again, long season, but I'll, I'll take first place any day. Yeah, very, very few games in between those teams. They're very close together, um, and it switches really daily. The NFL draft was held last week. Trevor Lawrence, quarterback from Clemson, was selected number one by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jets selected BYU quarterback Zach Wilson with the second pick, and the San Francisco 49ers chose quarterback Trey Lance from North Dakota State. And looks like you're pretty happy with your pick for those Chicago Bears, Deluch. Who did the they The Bears, get? Teddy Ball Game. You're not. You're going to leave the Bears pick I'm out leave, of your draft to you. I'm going to leave it to, to Deluch. The Bears. I'm wearing my hat for a reason, boys and girls. They took a bold move and traded up to what 11 or 12 with the Giants to take Justin Fields. 
you know, people, I, I don't know, mixed reviews on him, but I, I watched a documentary on him, QB1 on Netflix, really good documentary, by the way. But I, he's a good character kid. He's a smart kid. He's a hard worker. He comes from a good background. I, you know, he's got skills. He played for Ohio State. The Luch is excited for the fields to join the team. So, um, hey, man, gives me some hope. Gives me something to be excited about. Awesome. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing. The guy's a winner. He's a yeah. winner. Yeah. Um, and finally, we talked about the Kentucky, Tur- Kentucky Derby last week. We made our choices. Neither of our choices won. We've got Medina Spirit I'm sure. uh, won this year's Kentucky Derby. Hot Rod Charlie, who I said was going to win, came in third place and highly motivated, was not quite that motivated as he ended up in 10th place. Uh, what do you, I mean, we're bad, you know, we're betting on horses here. These are animals. So right. I, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all I got uh, for this week, Deluch. That's awesome. Nice job, Teddy Ball Game. Hey, I want to bring up something uh, real quick before we end here. In the spirit of Teacher Appreciation Week, this goes to you, Teddy Ball Game, all the teachers out there, and particularly boys and girls. You know, sports in a lot of ways is special, and there's a lot of connections to life. But it's not a coincidence that on every sports team there is a coach, right? In your classrooms, you also have coaches. And that's not a coincidence. We all need coaches. We all need somebody to push us a little bit, to challenge us, to to give us what we need to get better. And that's exactly what your teachers are, boys and girls. They are just like coaches on a sports team. They inspire you to be better every single day. They give you the drills and the practice necessary to be great. They give you a pat on the back when you do something well but then they push you when they know you can be better. They do their best to form a team within your classrooms because I'm telling you, we are all better off as a team and we need the support and the camaraderie of a team. And finally, they care about your success and the success of the team more than themselves. So boys and girls, we've talked about all the reasons why you should appreciate your teachers this week. They are your coaches. We all need them. Let them coach you. Let them help you to be better. So, Teddy Ballgame, thank you for being a coach for all of your kids. Teachers out there, thank you for being coaches for your kids. Boys and girls, let them coach you and let them help you to be great. With that said, we're out. Have a great Friday. Don't forget, we're better as a team because together we are Patty Strong. Let's do it.